Rain seems to be the only thing that greets Michael Garcia nowadays. Every day and every morning, it's fog, rain, or something to put his day in a bit of a sour mood. But there's still a lot to do, and if there's anything we can say about Michael Garcia now, it's that his stubbornness tends to overpower any rational thought, whether that be because it's raining and he needs to stay dry, or if he should just go home and not fight that pack of zombies in his way. It doesn't really matter to him. If he has something he wants to do, he's going to do it. And that's how it's going to be for today. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. It's been a little over a week since I've played, and I gotta, gotta be honest, I have no idea what I was doing. Uh, specifically, I don't know if I was working on any, you know, big, big particular project. Um, but we finished, I believe it was last episode, that we actually finished that wall. And that is massive for many, many reasons. But the biggest one, obviously, being safety. Uh, other reasons that it's big, too, is that it was a big construction job. And that construction job... Let's go ahead and fill up some things real quick. Was very, uh, was absolutely necessary for our con construction. Now, unfortunately for us, uh, we are not anywhere near that fourth level of construction yet. We are not even halfway to carpentry level four. And that is kind of the big goal overall that, we're, that we've been working so hard toward over the past month or so, because with level four comes the ability to build rain catchers, and that is going to solve our water problem when the water eventually shuts off. Now, Michael Garcia has been very lucky in that the water in the area has not turned off at all. Um, and he's been able to kind of live off the faucets and whatnot. And there's a lot of buildings around with toilets that we can kind of scavenge and plunder when we need to. Uh, but that's not permanent. All of that is temporary. And while it certainly buys us time, and it certainly probably ha we still have, once the, the water is done, a good month of easily accessible water near us, we can still live for some time. But we should be at this point, the uh, at level four. And the fact that we aren't uh, is a bit of a pain in the butt and definitely something we need to be working toward. Uh, but there's only so much we can do, really, without any books uh, that help boost our experience. The other thing that we got to get done is the other side of the wall. The big part of the wall is looking good, uh, but we still need a, a lot of other wall to take care of. Beyond that, there's the prison to our south that we can explore and the town up north that we still haven't really fully explored uh, where we can break down uh, a bunch of furniture and stuff, which we're probably going to end up doing just for the, those books. I, I feel like it'd be in my best interest to finally make a run at the, the town and um, really go for a clearing, like clear the whole thing out. Uh, grab whatever supplies we can and uh, take it with us. I also want to kind of fix up a car. That's another thing that we want to get done. Uh, if we can fix up a car, we'll be able to use that secondary car as kind of a ramming car, something to clear out a lot of the zombies that are kind of in our way or possibly causing us or locking us out of certain areas. Um, so that's definitely something we're going to do as well. So I think our first kind of point of action uh, was getting myself back into, into Zomboid here after being away for so long and, and not necessarily getting back into it, but getting myself back on task because I, I was doing pretty well at keeping things managed. I think we're just going to pop into our car here. We're going to get this boy all started up and uh, we'll take it downtown. We're not going to go far. I'm not going to go towards the prison. I think the prison at this point is, is a fool's errand. There's a lot we have to do to make that prison workable. Uh, especially if we want to end up looting it and spending some time in there. But in the moment, in the moment, I think heading north to these buildings that we have many a time kind of poked in and poked out of, taken what we need and left, uh, maybe we, we truly make a proper attempt at looting this place. Upstairs, downstairs, and then some. I'm gonna, I'll probably hit some buildings that I've already hit before just to see and make sure that I've got everything that I want but genuinely it shouldn't be that bad. And ideally we'll find a lot of loot. We have a saw in one of our inventories. Just wanna make sure this bathroom's clear. I know we cleared out the kitchen and stuff a while ago. I remember this building. And we there's a lot of cars for us here too that we could easily 
start looting. Oh, there's actually like a refrigerator over here. Oh, I've already been over here. Yes, Mathis is a refrigerator in an area that you've been looted and taken care of. How bizarre. Okay, here, door is crashing. So let's clear out some broken glass, give ourselves some optional exits here. It'll also ge uh, kind of generate enough noise, yeah, where we might see somebody f come out of the, one of the buildings over here. And we, we got that lucky. We actually hear maybe another two or three zombies in the building adjacent to this one that we're at. So let's take a look. Is this a bank? Oh, I hear two. Two. Three. Plus the ones over there. The broken glass dragged them kind of out of hiding here. It's all right. That's fine. Nice and clean. Now let's push you over. This is going actually exceptionally well. Give you a smack, throw you to the ground, and that's three down because the glass that I broke ended up being a good little distraction. I should not have my back to this building in any way. Not with everything that's happening. Not with all that noise. Can I pop this door? No. She's trying to get out of it. There's also another one over there somewhere. I'm gonna get back in here. We'll kind of comb our way through. Looking for the stairs that lead up, but not seeing any. And if we come in through the back, we might be able to pick off a couple of zombies before they really become any problem. Ooh, we've got some good stuff over here. Couple of zombies over here. I don't actually think I've spent much time past here on foot. I've certainly been over here in a car. But not really ever on foot. I think there was an, a, a zombie behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Okay, he's dead. Ooh, he died twice. Zombies die twice. A new movie coming to you. Take out your dicks. It's time to furiously jerk off. Todd zombie chicks. Made for men. All right, we've got one, two, three, four. A house and a couple of buildings. If I can knock one to the ground and keep the other one kind of, yeah, there we go, separate from the other two. We'll clear them out. Gritting his teeth and clenching his trusty baseball bat that he's had for such a long time now. Clearing out, you know, small packs of zombies was once super stressful for Mr. Garcia here, but now it's not even that he enjoys it. It's not that he has a smile or a glint in his eye when he does it. Now it's just par for the course. A necessary action if he wishes to continue living the life that he does. Whatever that life is. Ooh, underwear. All right. I don't think I have a way to pop this. I'd like to try, but there might be a key on one of these guys. So let's just check to see if they have a key. Oh, up, 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 up. Well, they might not have had a key. They had uh, bullets and a credit card. Now the credit card, you might be thinking, Mathis, why'd you even grab that credit card? Well, that's a very good question. Maybe we can try and s pop the lock here. No. I was hoping we might be able to slide it in. Music has to go. I was hoping we might be able to slide in the credit card. Maybe uh, do ourselves a favor and get that door open. Because if we can have another car that's in relatively good shape, we don't know if it's in good shape, but I'm kind of hoping it is. Um, oh man, have I not looted this place yet? Uh, I was hoping I could get there and start working on that car, basically, and make it like an actual kind of clearing vehicle that I ram into other people. Uh, we have six zombies to deal with. This one, two inside this building, three that stayed outside. I cleared some glass, so that ended up being a bit of a uh, problem. Man, these guys are going down real, real easy, which is... Kind of good news for Mr. Garcia here. Clean, clean, clean. All right, hey, how's it going? 
Was that you? I don't know why uh, Mike is panicking here. I think if they just get close and they get close without him seeing them before he hears them, he gets very scared. And that's fair, I'm a jumpy guy too, I understand. All right, I wanna get into this quickie mart real quick. Or sorry, this zippy mart. Let's pop this door. Let's get them both unlocked. Yeah, we've got a lot of, of non-perishables in here. Hello? Hello? Coming back into this room is very dangerous. It's a tight, tight squeeze. If I get caught out, it could be the end. And this just connects. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna go to that door because I'm, I'm pretty certain it's bad news. Come on, on the ground. Trolling through these buildings is dangerous. Okay, back up. Come on, you gotta go down. Thank you. Let's get out. Okay. Alright, let's be smart. Let's grab what we need and get out. Or grab what we can, rather, and get out. Anything that's gonna be good for us to survive and eat is all that matters. Honestly, charcoal, I imagine, will be very valuable once we want to start setting up fires and doing some cooking. The great thing about Zomboid is the longer you last, the slower it becomes a nature, a nature survival RPG. A lot of chips, a lot of soda, and lighters. I probably should take all of them just to be safe. Okay, we're good. Already red. Some charcoal, I'll take it. Cause I just, I don't know how rare charcoal is, if rare at all. And I would like to start deconstructing where I can. So let's take our saw out. And I'm a little concerned. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about them back there. We actually had to take off our secondary backpack to do, because we needed a hammer and a saw. So I think it's best. Let's head outside. Now, granted, we're a little overweight, but we can throw things in our trunk if we really want to. I want to wheel around back. Let's remove this. I think there's something banging on one of the doors back here, but we have a lot of planks we were able to grab as well. This has been needing to get done for a long time. I'm just glad I'm finally getting it done. No zombie out here, which is where I thought they were. The thudding is almost all but ceased. Ooh, there's a medical supply store down here. Books! <gasps> if we can find the book we need. Okay. This is big. Bookstore is huge. Book naked. Okay. Well, let's let's clean up. It's 340. The rain has been a little bit of a problem, but not that bad. Advanced foraging. All right, this is our shot at getting construction. I would bust all these books and throw them all in my bag if I had the opportunity, but I'm really looking for just one right now. We'll read this. It's very quick. Teaches us a bunch of stuff. 
makeshift radio. So radios, I'm, I'm sure some people have seen the walkie talkies on them and I'm realizing that I'm leaving them on the ground. Um, the reason I'm leaving them all on the ground is because walkie talkies and the like are all pretty much exclusively for multiplayer stuff. Holy shit. Five to six. Seven to eight. No, we don't need, we have these, I think. Read this. We can read them. Because if we, if we do make radios, I think some of them end up making enough sound where they're very good distractions. Come on. You gotta give me that carpentry. Please. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Like, I didn't miss it, right? Unread, I'll read it, short. I think I have master carpentry already, but I'll take it just in case. Read. Wow. Not a single intermediate carpentry or what have you. I mean, it's good to know this is all down here, but at the same time, like, come on. <laughs> what do I got to do? Oh, God. Sorry, sorry. I didn't realize that you were that close. You are incredibly slow. Come on, just get on the ground. Whoa. It's gonna try and knock out who I can here. Any and all who are hitting doors should go anyway. They're gonna cause nothing but problems in the future. Drag a few more. They, they're just going to cause every other zombie in the world to just make their way up this way. Okay. So, hey, that, that quickie mart, unfortunately, or that zippy mart, unfortunately, wasn't great. Had a few things and definitely maybe bought us another day or two worth of supplies. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to pop one of the soda bottles now because it helps with food. Weirdly enough. And I'm going to keep having him bash these guys down. Whoa, my bat broke. Oh, no. Huh. Did I fix it? I repaired this thing 35 times. 35 times did I make this, uh, that I put this bat to use and force it to do my bitch work. And now it's going to die on me? Now you're going to die on me? That's how this is going to work? I have the nails. Give me that 1% repair, baby. There it is. I can't let you die. Just jamming more nails into it. That's how you fix things in America. When in doubt, just put more of what broke it into the thing that is broken. And at the end of the day, it works. Magic. Excuse me. I know I just dragged you two out of the way. I'm going to put you guys down real quick, if you don't mind. One of you has to fall over, though, so I can start stomping. I don't know who wants to be the one. Anyone? There we go. You. Now, I can't hit you with the bat too often. This thing's nails are all bent and rusted. And it'd probably end up giving you a disease if you weren't already a dead, diseased, zombie creature. And honestly, all I care about is your well-being. I want you to be good and healthy and happy and... When you go home and mom tucks you in at night, you can tell them that... Mike Garcia gave you what's known as the pink tickler. Excuse me. Could you just stop so I can start pinpointing other places where people are 
trying to break things that aren't theirs. Could you also just go down? Thank you. I'm tired. I'm getting weak. So I'm not surprised. That is taking us a long time to knock anyone down. But it's been a very successful uh, cleansing attempt. I did not think that this was going to be my goal anytime soon, but that's what happens when you leave for a while and you come back. You refocus up. Priorities shift as your mind changes. And in here, we have a ton of stuff we can disassemble. Lots and lots and lots of desks to disassemble. I'm a little, I'm a little upset that we weren't able to uh, get that carpentry book that we wanted. Kind of frustrating. But his kill count continues to climb. 443 zombies killed, one month, five day, nine hours. That is probably the longest I've survived in a good three or four years of playing this game lately. And, uh, oh my god, there's more of them. Ooh, this is getting kind of dangerous out here. Popping back into his police vehicle and feeling satisfied with the tasks accomplished. And able to loot a little bit more food and a few more bottles that he can pack full of water when the time comes. While it may not be the giant strides he's been making recently, with the fencing and making this fire department truly something to be proud of, and the memory of his ex-wife still lingering in the back of his mind. Upper Town is now a little safer than it was. There's a few packs of zombies that are milling about the area that can be a little bit of a problem if we don't do much about them or we cause them to come toward us via noise. But beyond that, the area is relatively safe and it's a great place to start deconstructing things, to give him the experience he needs. He's so close to being able to make a rain catcher. He knows it. He's tried many times, but they aren't able to hold water. But the more he tries and the more he attempts such things, the better he gets at them. And the more he takes things apart, the more he realizes how things work. And that has helped greatly as well. But the rain never ceased. Darkness starts to cast itself over his home. And summertime is quickly coming to an end. The farm is up and running and growing cabbage, but will it be enough to get him through the winter? his first winter alone with no one to rely on but himself. And will those walking dead who mill about the north stay that way? Or will they find themselves in somewhere near his home in time? While a sense of accomplishment certainly sits in the center of Michael Garcia, a constant haunting dread lingers on the outskirts, getting closer and closer. For Michael Garcia, things are about to get much worse before they get any better.